Hola, good morning, buenos dias. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. It's your girl Daniela here at Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you some daily productivity sheets that I custom made for me myself and my schedule so if you're interested in checking out my custom-made productivity sheets why i use them how i made them and how i use them in my daily life just keep on watching and do not touch that dial all right so i am in my happy planner today um, this is my happy planner i love the happy planner i go hard i go ham for the happy planner i am a happy planner i just love the disc bound system so much and that how you can customize um your happy planner to be like completely uniquely yours and made to fit you um, so this is my happy planner and I actually just filmed my July happy planner lineup and setup and I actually also just switched out the format. I used to have all of my planners Franken planned combined into this one happy planner with the um, colorful leopard cover and the metallic blue discs. But if you watch that video, you know that I was wondering near the end if I was going to have to change it up a little bit because my planner was just a little bit too fat. Like it wasn't really um, super uh, easy to kind of like flip through the pages because it was so fat. So I did end up switching or like splitting that planner into two planners. Um, so as you can see, the two planners together are really, really thick and I had it all on one set of discs i mean they are expander discs but even so i do have um 15 different planners um and so uh putting all those sections into one planner is a little bit much and so i ended up um getting i ended up splitting my planner into two different planners and so these are the planners now that i use but we're going to be working in th in this happy planner uh, this happy planner here is this is the planner that i use more on the daily and i'm more like i'm, I'm working more in it on the daily basis because it has uh, my academic section in it which is basically i'm a graduate student that's my full-time job right now and so I have my academic section in here as well as like my fitness, my household sections. And those are sections that I just um, I just refer to a lot more. Um, whereas all the other sections in this planner are a little bit more like hobbies and extracurriculars. This is my happy planner here. And I have a couple of sections in her. And one of the sections that I have in here that is not a um not a planner section it is my daily section and i have my little bookmark that says daily here at the top and so this is the section where i have a lot of my daily sheets daily sheets are a little bit different than regular planner sheets like a regular planner sheets you know it gives you an overview of the week and that is all fine and great but sometimes you just need a little bit more detail and so you need a daily sheet which gives you like a whole template for one particular day and so i am the type of person that loves a lot of structure and a lot of planning in their day because i actually have a very flexible schedule i am a graduate student which means that i have a billion things to do but i also have no fixed schedule my boss doesn't care when i work as long as i work and get the job done so it's a lot of independent motivation it's a lot of independent scheduling which is wonderful i love that i love deciding my own schedule and um but i do need to be um always very conscious of of how i schedule my day because it's very easy when you don't have someone you know telling you to do something and be somewhere at a certain day it's very easy to you know not to do anything and so um it is a double-edged sword in that way but i i am a big fan of daily sheets and i have like a couple of um pre-made daily sheets that i've purchased at various locations like marshall's you know um tj maxx so this is an example of a daily sheet it's it's one of my favorites actually it has 
um, four different sections. It has a top priority section, a schedule section, which gives you a place to write the time as well as the event, and it divides it into three sections of morning, afternoon, and evening. It also has a section to journal, some joyful thoughts, as well as the section to write the day. And I love that little um, sheet because it gives you a little schedule section which the schedule section is a game changer I love me a good schedule this one however is just a to-do list um, and sometimes I just want a to-do list like I don't need to have a schedule or like top three goals or whatever I just need a very plain to-do list so sometimes I'll reach for one of these for my daily sheet and then I also have these really really cute daily sheets um, that I got at Marshall's as well and these are super awesome and super cute. I love these. This one has six different sections and a place for your workout, a health tracker, a food log, as well as uh, journaling sections for encouragement and gratitude, as well as a little section for a to-do list. So these are all different examples of like daily productivity sheets, um, daily to-do sheets, and I've, I'm a big fan of these and I do use them quite a bit. However, I always felt like I didn't have the perfect uh, daily productivity sheet for myself and my needs and my schedule. And um, I, I was always like looking on Amazon or on Etsy to find the perfect daily productivity sheet and I just couldn't find one that really spoke to me or fit my needs completely. And uh, so I decided to make my own. And so I just went onto Microsoft Office Word, really, really simple. And I made my own daily productivity sheet, which is what you see here. Let me zoom in a little bit. So this is my daily productivity sheet um, that I made on Microsoft Office Word, very, very simple. It did not take me that long at all and I just kind of threw some boxes together, threw some lines together and called it good. So let me walk you through what I created and why I created it. So the first thing that I needed my daily productivity sheet to have was an hourly schedule and that's something that not a lot of daily productivity sheets or planners have. I do know that the Happy Planner has like an, uh, an hourly planner but I don't I didn't really like it because the the times weren't what I needed and it just didn't have um, the numbers like printed on every single day which is what I wanted so I just didn't find anything that I liked um, out there and so I made my own hourly schedule on my my productivity sheet here and I made it from 5 in the morning to 10 p.m. at night which is another thing that many daily productivity sheets that have schedules don't have. They don't have a schedule that is this long. Um, I'm an early bird. I do wake up around five in the morning and I do go to bed around 9.30, sometimes even 10. And so I wanted something that was from five in the morning to 10. And a lot of sheets, a lot of schedules just don't have that range. And so I always was kind of, um, I always felt like they were lacking. And, and also like sometimes sheets just wouldn't have enough space. So for example, this sheet right here, it's just, it's a pretty uh, small space for the schedule. Like, you know, compared to what I have here and what I like, how much space I like to use for my schedule, this sometimes is just not enough space. And so I wanted something that gave me a lot of space for my schedule. So right off, I have here my schedule that's from 5 to 10 at night. And I, I kind of like map it out in the morning. I spend some time after my breakfast kind of deciding what I'm going to do that day and setting up my schedule. And so here you can see um, I have what I have going on and I kind of color code it as well to kind of give me some a visual of like where I am at a certain part of the day. In addition to the hourly schedule, I also have a today's top three, like a top three goal overview of the day. These are three things that no matter what's going on, these are like the main three things that I want to make sure that I am doing that day. And so I have those written out here. And I also have two different to-do lists kind of stacked on top of each other. And this was inspired by the Passion Planner. I noticed that in their to-do lists that they kind of split them into like career professional to-dos as well as home and personal to-dos, which I really liked because 
Um, those are two very different areas and aspects of my life and sometimes I like to kind of separate them out so I can kind of organize things a bit more. So I have my professional like work to-dos here and then I have my home personal to-dos in this section and that way I can kind of see what I need to do for both, um, for both aspects of my life. And that is all that I have going on here, except for, you know, a section to write the date. I also included these super cute, um, the Very Hungry Caterpillar designs. Um, I, I put the little uh, caterpillar down here, as well as another one with him coming out of the strawberry up there. I am such a huge fan of the Very Hungry Caterpillar and all the artwork of that children's book. I think it's so stunning and so cute. I'm actually wearing my Very Hungry Caterpillar socks today, so it's perfect. I am a huge fan of the Hungry Caterpillar. And I wanted something um, like something decorative for the sheet. I didn't want it just to be plain. I wanted to have a little bit of a decorative element. I mean, I didn't want it to be too decorative because I also wanted it to, I wanted to have room to like um, decorate it myself with stickers and things like that. But I also wanted to have some decoration so that way in case I you know, didn't want to put any stickers or anything, like it would already look cute right off the bat. And I also just didn't want to print a lot of, uh, a lot of things in color because I don't want to fly through my color ink. So I have the Hungry Caterpillar stuff here and then I also have the box with the different pastel colors. I think those, those three things give me enough color to be happy. And of course I can add some stickers here and there which is what I did with this Yeah sticker and then this little coffee mug and my little alarm clock. I also tend to like add a lot of color with the highlighters and my pens. So I think between all of that I have enough color and decoration on my page. This is the perfect daily productivity sheet for me. I am so happy with how it turned out. I think it's very simple and it has just exactly what I need and nothing more. A lot of the times I felt like the daily productivity sheets that I was seeing out there and that were available, they have a lot of extra stuff on them besides the schedule and the to-do lists. Um, so like for example, these ones here, we have like a food log and a health tracker and a workout section. And I already write a lot of this stuff in other sections of my planners. Like for example, my fitness planner, it already has a section for workout and for food logs as well as for hydration. I also have a mood tracker as a planner and I also keep track of my sleep separately as well. So a lot of these things were kind of redundant for me. So this is my daily productivity sheet. Um, that I filled out for today. I'm really happy with it. And I've been playing around with these sheets for the last couple of days. Um, as you can see, sometimes I don't like, I don't use them too much. Sometimes I use them a lot. And then here is what the daily productivity sheet looks like when it's totally blank. Very, very cute. So I printed out a couple of those. I actually also um, got some colored paper and I printed it out on colored paper just to see how I how that would look. And I actually don't like it as much as uh, the white paper because the, the designs and the colors don't really um, pop out as much on this colored paper. Um, but yeah, so that is the colored paper ones. So I had a lot of fun with this daily sheet and making it and I highly recommend making your own daily custom uh, productivity sheets. I think they are just so much fun to make and you can just custom make them to your to you to what you need. And what I like about the happy planner is that I just um, I just punch them with the happy planner punch and I pop them into my happy planner and they fit perfectly. I also, uh, when I make them on Microsoft Office Word, I also just um, kind of make them in the dimensions of the Happy Planner. So when I print them out, they are, um, they're just like a smaller section on the overall page and then I just cut them with my, um, I have a paper cutter and I just cut them to size and they just fit in perfectly here. And I'm really happy with how these turned out. I was super excited to share these with you and how I use them. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for checking it out. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to know whether you use a daily productivity sheet. And if so, what do you like about it? What sections do you like about it? 
I would also like to know your thoughts on hourly schedules and how you use them and if there are any particular designs that you um, like to use. I'm always interested in how people like schedule their time and so yeah I'd be interested in knowing. But again thank you so much for checking out this video and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!